to the 2023 Majors Championship. As always, it's customary. Prior to the championship game, we're going to honor the regular season champs, which happens to be the Divers, led by John Nicholson. So I'm going to call each of the players there. Come out and we're going to get a picture with your player before we get the game started. Alright, at first up, Terry Buffoni. Travis Quittal. Elliot Dolly. Jeff Dilly. Nipua Fumra. Yeah, I was like, Danny Harvey. Hudson Kirk. Calhoun yeah. McNair. William Nelson. Douglas Nicholson. James Phillips. And Luke Dodge. Please give a round of applause for our 2023 regular season champs. Rogers. Good luck tonight. I don't know where the guy is, so just do right now. So good, my start. Wait till I mean, I'm gonna be gone. Am I gonna be gone? Yeah, we're not turning up yet, but Okay, you go. Sorry about that. Oh. Let me see how that works. Okay, Majors Championship. Dodgers versus Pirates. Pirates home. About to get started here in a few minutes. doing player introductions and while we're doing that just some interesting facts here about these two teams so we've got uh, basically while the, the Dodgers dominated the regular season with the best overall record and the number one seed the Pirates came in as the number six seed but since but if you look at some of the stats you actually realize that the Pirates were the second best offense in the league number one the Dodgers uh, the Pirates were the third best defense in the league, number one, the Dodgers. Best run differential in the league, or second best run differential in the league was the, were the uh, Pirates. Best in the league, the Dodgers. And then regular season against the Dodgers, the Pirates won one game, 6-2. to two, And then the Dodgers won in a walk-off, 4-3. to three. So these are close teams. When you look at the look at the records, you may think the Dodgers have this one dominated. But when you look at the uh, how both the teams have played offensively and defensively, and played against each other, we're in for a great game tonight. In this double elimination uh, tournament, you're dealing with you got a winners bracket and a losers bracket, as I think everyone pro likely knows, and. Pirates stayed in the winner's bracket, beating the number three Cardinals, the number two Red Sox, and the number four Astros to advance to the to the finals. The Dodgers, as the number one seed, lost their first game, then had to go through the gauntlet of the loser's bracket, which basically has you playing essentially every two days and managing pitches, pitch count like a, like a surgeon. Um, and it's a tough way to get to the championship. Dodgers have done it. And they're looking to break the uh, the, the dreaded coal the, the dreaded pole curse of being the number one seed and not winning a championship. So this might be the year it could be done.
interesting storyline for the Dodgers is Coach John Nicholson's dad coached his team in 1990, coached the Dodgers to a major championship. So this would be quite the synergy if if young Nicholson, Coach Nicholson, can follow in his dad's footsteps under the Dodgers, 12U majors once again. Then we'll obviously, if that happens, we'll be looking for Douglas Nicholson to uh, repeat the same storyline decades down the road. We should have ourselves a very well played game here tonight. You've got the Dodgers who are very, very strong at the plate batting and, and very strong pitching as well. They've got power they can, you know, from corner to corner on the field um, all through the lineup. So something to watch for. And then the Pirates um, have really sound defense, just really well coached. I mean, both teams are really well coached but really do everything right from a discipline, discipline perspective. So it's going to likely be a, a close game and come down, come down to, the, to the final inning. Got the national anthem here. ready for some for some games to start here so you know I noted some of the uh, coach Nicholson and I wanted to talk about coach Dotson as well um, he is a second year coaching uh, they actually last year won the minors championship as the mighty muscles um, and some of his assistant coaches Mike Maggi was um, also an experienced coach and actually coached the 2021 Pirates to a championship so a lot of synergies here. And then Harris Junell, who's another assistant coach on the Pirates, won the minor championship two years ago. I guess now three years ago as a Mudcat, beating John Nicholson's Raptors team. Which beat my Storm team in the semifinals. But it's neither here nor there. So we're in for a good, good matchup here tonight. Solid pitching, very sound defense, some big bats. Should be a, should be a fun evening for some baseball. Dodgers like to play loose, follow their coach, keep some, keep some, uh, keep some laughing, having fun, and playing sound ball. Pirates are just, you know, really mechanics out there in the field. Actually, have a lot of, a lot of fifth graders, which are young, younger, uh, younger 12U players on the team. Very, very sound. Should be a, uh, should be a great evening tonight. I said earlier, the Pirates are the home team, Dodgers are the visitors, even though they are the number one seed, but coming out of the winner's bracket gets the, uh, the top seed here. So the Dodgers will be up to bat. Who's been leading off all season for him, Calhoun McNair, number 11, will be batting. Second best batting average on the team. Batting over 500.
Calhoun's an 11-year-old playing up in 12 and is a 11-year uh, all-star as well. While the majors game is about to get started, we've got the minors game over here. Tight game in the fifth behind us. Looks like a clear evening. We've got uh, minimal wind. Nice and warm. A casual 94. Feels like 144. Perfect night for baseball. All right, game is starting. As I noted, Cal Calhoun McNair, number 11, will be leading off for the Dodgers. We got Benjamin Lux on the mound. We got the first pitch coming, wind up. Foul ball up the right side. Based on that, looks like the uh, Pirates are shifting everyone to the to the right side here. Counts 0 and 1. Lux with the delivery here. Another foul ball down the right side. 0 and 2. All right, McNair digs in. Lux in his delivery here. Ball in play here. Oh, off second baseman. Oh, close play. Safe at first. Hard hit ball. Tough bounce. Good hustle by McNair. Next up, Doug Nicholson, number one, coach's son, batting 550 for the season. Yes, yeah, number one's at the plate, number two on the mound. Here's a pitch, and that's high to the backstop. Runner goes to second. That's yeah, count to one and one. And Nicholson's had some had some power this year. He's a uh, Hit one over center field wall against uh, against my Marlins earlier in the year. Great hitter. Here's one one, and it's on the dirt. Runner goes to third. And these Dodgers will play fast and loose, so they're gonna they're gonna thrive on this here. We'll see what happens here. No outs, man on third. As counts two and one. Here's a pitch, and that's inside three and one. Hitters count. McNair on third's got good speed, so any anything away from the catcher is likely to get a run in here. Here's the three one, and that's lined right to the shortstop. Go to the third is not in time. As I'll be one away in the inning. Hard hit ball, but right to the right to the shortstop there. Good play though. Great good play. Now we've got Nifua coming to the plate. Another another top batter on the team. He's actually has three home runs for the year. Really good good really good player for the Dodgers. Another all star. As he steps up to the plate with the runner on third, one out. Here's a pitch. And in there for a strike.
Here's the 0-1. And that's a high fly ball. Right center field at the wall. And it goes over the head of the outfielder. One will score. And that'll make it 1-0 Dodgers. And that's going to be a stand-up triple. I'm not going to lie to you. I've seen that movie before. He did, uh, he did that a couple times against my team. Except I think he got, he got in two inside the Parkers against us. That was a great drive. Base of the wall. It's got power. Terry Buffoni up here, coach's son. Number four. Here's pitch. And that's high, 1-0. and And also high as count will go to 2 and 0. Here's the pitch. And gets a swing on that one. That's going to be a strike. Yeah, a little off speed right there. Kind of throws him up for a second. Got that bat out there over the plate. He'll bear down here. Let's see what we got. Here's a 2-1, and that's high. Went back to the off speed. Just a little high there. Here's a 3-1, and that's low. Pull off four, and it'll be runners in the corners, just one out. James Phillips up the plate, number 15. Another one of their top batters. Be interesting to see if they, uh, how they'll play this. If they'll send Buffoni and give uh, Nifwa a chance to, to score on a throwdown. Pirates should have Candola at catcher. He's got a good arm. Here's a pitch. And that's low. Yep, they went for a fake there. Has to be a steal the second, be runners on second and third, just one out. That's a standard little league play there. Sometimes they'll throw down, but not with just one out and a fast runner on third. Here's the 1 0, bun attempt. Able to get it down, down third baseline, it just rolls foul. As counts one to one, here's a pitch, another bunt attempt, and that's going to be called a strike, one and two. Well, Lux threw a, a handful of breaking balls there, and that one time he really bared, bared down and uh, put some heat behind that ball. Good pitch. Pitcher ahead in the count. Here's a one two. And that's low. Goes to the backstop. Here comes a runner, and he's going to slide, and he's safe. And that'll make it 2 nothing Dodgers here in the first. Yeah, Nifo had some good speed and good reaction. He didn't hesitate. As soon as he saw that ball skip by the catcher, he was headed home. Long strides, tall, tall kid, very athletic. That was uh, good instincts on his part. And as the runner will also advance the third, as will be 2-0. Make that two and two. Still one out. Here's the pitch. And count goes full. Three and two. And that's fouled hard to the left side. Yeah, a little late on that one, I think. Lux brought the heat on that. As the count will remain at three and two. Benny on the mound. Benny on the mound has the. He's actually pitched the most innings for the team this year, so he's uh, been one of the great pitchers. Here's the pitch. And in the corner, ball four. 
And it'll be runners in the corner, still just one out. Yeah, that was a close one. We're likely to likely to see the uh, steal a second here again. We'll see how this works out. We've got Hudson Kirk up to bat. Plays a lot of catcher for the Dodgers. Yeah, pitcher's ready. Here's the pitch to Kirk. And that's line past the shortstop. Another runner will score as they'll make it 3-0. And runners on first and second for the Dodgers. Great aggressive hitting right there by Kirk on first pitch. Even knowing his uh, the guy on first is going to steal. And still just one out in the inning. Runners on first and second. Next up, uh, Travis Quatal, number 13. Coach Nicholson giving him a little advice, likely telling him a joke, but possibly some baseball advice as well. Just get him a little more loose on the mound. That's Here's the pitch, and the punt attempt goes down. And throw the third is in time for out number two. Heads up play by the third baseman. Really sound defense there. That was actually the shortstop had to run with the runner. He's actually running stride for stride with the base runner to get to the bag. Impressive. It was a great bunt. Impressive play on the defense. Pirates bring sound defense all season long. Danny Harvey, number six, up. Here's the pitch. And yeah, just below the knees, 1-0. Oh. Danny's a great athlete, great great baseball player, a lot of speed. So Anything close at first, he's likely to beat it out. And the bunt attempt pulls back. And call the strikes, 1-1. One and one. And softly grounded and fouled. Yeah, Benny's got that, that uh, breaking ball working. Kind of got them on their heels a little bit. That was uh, good on Danny to get a little piece of that one. Foul it off. And the count one and two. Here's a pitch. And that is just inside. Runner goes to third, and it'll be safe. And we're even at two and two. Pirates were thinking that was a third strike into the inning, and they all were kind of moving in like they were heading to the dugout. And Kirk heads up play, runs from second to third without even a uncontested there. As that pitch was close into the inside edge. Here's the 2 2. And that's in there for strike three. And we'll head to the bottom of the second as the Dodgers take a 3 0 lead to start things off. As we'll be right back here on Five Live.
of Dr. Vibe. Going on? What's that? Yeah. Probably not as good as you. And back here on Vibe Live as the Dodgers lead it 3 0 at the bottom of the first. Got Terry Buffoni on the mound. Number four, uh, left-handed, left-handed pitcher, right-handed batter. As counts on one, here's the pitch, and that's high. Yeah, Jack Kofer, number one at the plate. Here's a 1-1 one, one swing and a miss. This is actually Jack's first season at pole, played in a different league before this, so he's getting a, all he knows is success here being in the championship game, first season, leading off. As he takes a practice swing, as counts one and two. And that's low, counts even. The Dodgers like to they start the game with Terry. Lefty gives him a different look. It's a good pitch. And that's lined over the head of the first baseman. And it is foul. Even though it's foul, great hustle by that right fielder. Really hustling over there. As counts are even at two and two. And that's a fly ball in the center field, and that's caught for out number one. Went away here in the bottom of the first. Great play by Danny Harvey. It's uh, he can center fielder. He owns the outfield. He can literally run from corner to corner in this outfield. Big plays. Yeah, so bringing number six to the plate. Here's the pitch, and that's high, 1-0. Oh. He's an 11 U All-Star uh, playing up here in the majors. Good player, dad coaches as well. And that's fouled back. And that's low, two and one. And that's grounded down the first base line and touches first for out number two. Good hustle by Douglas Nicholson there. Run up, get the ball, and get back to first quickly. Douglas plays a lot of positions for the Dodgers and plays them all well. As Yeah, that's fouled away. It's Parker Dodson, coach's son here. Yeah, that's count 0 and 1. Another, another 12U All-Star. And that's a high fly ball. Left center field, that's going to drop all the way to the wall. And runner will go to second. And that's a stand-up double. Great hit by Dodson there, packing some punch, landing that one just at the base of the wall. Oh. We got Benny Lux coming to the plate, number two.
And it's going to go to the backstop runner, goes to third. Here's a 2 0. And that's grounded. Second baseman has it. Fires the first in time for out number three. As we'll head to the second. As Dodgers lead it 3 0. As we'll be right back for the Post Oak Little League Championships here on Five Live. Back here on Vibe Live as the Dodgers lead it. 3 nothing over the Pirates. Benny Lux is on the mound. And Luke, Luke Dose at the bat number 10. Here's the 1 0. And that's a changeup. That's a strike as it's 1 and 1. And that's grounded. First baseman snags it, touches first, and that's one away. Nice hit ball by the lefty dose there, but uh, great play by Hogan on that one at first. Scooped it up very well. And although the Pirates given up a few runs early, showing their great display of defense. Here's the one to Willie, and at the knees, as counts one and one. And I believe that's outside. They're called a strike one and two. And swing and a miss, strike three, two away for the Dodgers. Good placement on that pitch by Benny there. Really just put that one kind of down in the dirt with two strikes. Looked like a, probably looked like a strike the whole way. Now we got Jeb Dilly, number nine, coming up. 11th batter here for the Dodgers. Jeb's an intim intimidating force here at the plate. When he connects, he's, he's a big kid. He can put, put it anywhere. 
and that pitch is low, 1-0. and And that's a foul ball coming our way. Yeah, we almost needed a hard hat for that one. <laughs> Close enough. Any closer, and I might start diving. Sure, sure did. Promise you'll protect me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. As it counts, one and one. And Benny's contemplating his next pitch here. Here's a one one. And that's low. Here's a 2-1. And off speed inside. And he's it counts even at 2-2. Two two. He's been he's really been working that off speed well tonight. Just catching at the right time. And good breaking stuff on this pitches. Here's a 2-2, and it's fouled away, stays alive. Jeb really battling on that one. That was, that was a tough one to foul off and staying alive. Here's a 2-2, and swing to miss, strike three. As I'll end the inning, as the Dodgers still lead it 3-0 as we'll head to the third here on Pipe Live. As we're back here on Five Live, as the Dodgers lead it three nothing over the Pirates. Pirates up to the plate. We got Henry Hogan number three here. Here's the pitch, and that's high. As counts one and zero. Oh. And call the strike. The pitch there by the phony. Hogan's uh, sec leading the second on the team in RBIs for the Pirates. And that pitch is just outside, two and one. And that's a fly up on the right field out of play. As count goes even at two and two. Here's a pitch, and that's a fly ball in the center field, and that's caught. Round number one. Oh, Willie Nelson with some sweet music on catching that one. That way to run up, ran, ran up pretty hard on that one to make a play. Got under it for the first out of the inning. 
Now we've got Cannon Newcomer, number 21. Where's 21? He must be an old soul in, in uh, memory of Roberto Clemente. Legendary Pittsburgh Pirate. Here's a pitch. Newcomer's trying to have a, have a good game here and make himself a legendary Pirate here at Post Oak. Here's the 1 0. And outside. As counts 2 0. Coach Dodson giving us some signs. Let's see what he pulls up here. And that's a fly ball. At right field. That's caught for out number two. Good hustle there by Calhoun McNair getting in position. Squeezed that one and got the out. It's James Candolo, the catcher for the Pirates. And that's grounded. Shortstop has it. Fires the first in time for out number three. As we'll head to the top of the third as the Dodgers still lead it 3-0. As we'll be right back for the post old Little League Championships here on Vipe Live. As we're back here on Five Live, top of the third, Dodgers still lead it, 3-0 over the Pirates. Benny Luck still on the mound, finishing up his warm-ups. We've got uh, Elliot Dolly, number zero, up to bat. Sounds like he's got some toughness. It, he leads the team, or at least has a knack for getting hit by pitches. So hopefully he'll uh, get a big hit rather than get hit on this at bat. So. Taking a couple more practice swings here in the top of the third. As you'll step into the box. For the game, Coach Nicholson said he felt like Elliott was due for a big hit here this game, which would really get set up the top of the order. Here's the pitch. And that's at the knees for a strike. Went for the breaking ball right on a first pitch. Perfectly placed. Here's the 0-1. And swing and a miss. Went a little early on that one. Yeah, he went back with the heat. Kind of pitching him backwards with curveball, then fastball. As pitchers ahead in the count 0-2. Here's the pitch, and that's low to the backstop. Here's a one-two, and swing and a miss. 
Got him early with the off speed and one away. Yeah, he's been working that off speed tonight really well. Really, really in the fastball as well, but that off speed's really got some, got him guessing a little bit here. Now top of the order here with Calhoun McNair, number 11. This is the part of the order that did some damage in the first inning, so we'll see what happens here with, with one out. As pitch from the Pirates starting to settle in here. After giving up three in the first, here's the pitch. And right up the middle to the shortstop, bobbles it, and he's going to be safe. Yeah, it was kind of a check swing, but hit it hard enough to give uh, Dotson a little trouble there at short. But Dotson probably had to try to hurry on that, knowing that, knowing that uh, McNair's got some speed getting to first. As the Dodgers have a runner on with one out. Now we got Douglas Nicholson up. Top four batters for the Dodgers are all-stars this year, so you got to be careful throwing to these guys. And that's low. Runner thought about going, goes back to first. Hey, Here's the 1-0. And off speed, low in the dirt, runner going to second. Here's a throw. It's not going to be in time and off oh, line. And thought about going to third. You're going to go back to second. Yeah, that breaking ball bounced in front of the plate. Barely got away from the catcher. But McNair's speed got him into second. When it got past the second base, he thought about third. But this part of the order, you want to keep him safe there. Here's a 2-0. And outside, 3-0. Here's a pitch. And right at the knees for a strike. Hitters count at three and one. Fiftieth pitch for, for Benjamin there, but pitch count doesn't matter at this point. Last game of the season. And foul back. Gets back into the count at three and two. That breaking ball again. Douglas actually he waited on it. Didn't get ahead of it. Just fouled it off a little bit. Pitcher's ready. Here's a 3-2. And right at the knees for strike three. That's two away for the Dodgers. Now we got Nipua coming to the coming to the plate. Got on base earlier with a good hit. Got a got a big bat. Leads the leads the Dodgers in home runs. As it's two outs, runner in scoring position, here's the pitch. And that's low. Runner leads off a little bit, goes back to second. It's the third year that Nifo has been on a team that Coach Nicholson has coached. Drafted him all three times. Here's the 1-0. And grounded, right to shortstop. Throws the first, he's going to be safe and beats it out. And throw the third, he gets back in there. And it'll be runners in the corner, so two outs. Yeah, good hustle by uh, by Nifua as well as McNair on that one. To finish the story on Nifua, I think first year he played with uh, with Coach Nicholson and Pee Wees just three or four years ago, and now he's a, he's an all-star here in majors. Terry Buffoni at the plate, number four. Runners in the corners, two outs. Here's a pitch. And that's low to the backstop. Here comes a runner. And I'll make it 4 nothing Dodgers on the wild pitch. Pitcher to pitcher there. And that ball bounced. And if you weren't watching it, you didn't see it. But it's stuck in the in the fence. And uh, so runner counts. Nifo moves to second. It's a dead ball there after that, though. Yeah, it's count be one and zero oh after a wild pitch. A 
Coach Nicholson talking to Buffoni there, know, knowing that there's a big spot for him. The 4 0 lead, man on second, two outs, get this run in. As batter will get back to the box. Terry's got great baseball IQ, so he'll be watching for a pitch he can drive here. Here's the 1-0. And swing and a miss. Chase that one. Yeah, good cut there. Just dropped on him at the, the last minute over the plate. As counts a 1-1. One one. Here's the pitch. Oh, that should get him. And to the backstop, and runner will advance the third with ease. Yeah, so make it two and one. Nifa gets there easily. It's probably four strides for him. He's it's gonna be a big couple pitches right here. See if they can get out of the inning. Here's a two one. And that's fouled back. As counts now even. He was right on it timing-wise. He fouled that ball straight back, just a little underneath it. Here's a 2-2. And that's low. Catcher able to get a hold of it. Went back and to the off-speed there. As counts full at 3-2. and two. Benny shakes it off, and that's going to step off the mound for a second. Here's the 3-2. And swing and a miss, strike three. As we'll head to the bottom of the third, Dodgers had a run as they lead it 4 nothing over the Pirates. Tony back on the mound here. As the Dodgers still lead it 4 0 here in the bottom of the third. Terry's only thrown 25 pitches. Really in control here right now. And that pitch is outside 1 0. Austin Janelle, number seven at bat, actually won a championship last year. Or sorry, two years ago with the miners, with the Mudcats. With yeah, his that's dad, the knees were strike. Sorry, with his dad coaching. Again, that was the same team that beat Nicholson's Raptors, but seeing if they can flip the script this year. And yeah, swinging a miss, chase a high fastball. 
Counts one and two. He's ready. Here's the pitch. And that's how it counts even at two and two. Here's the 2-2. And swing and a miss, strike three. And that's the one away from the Pirates. Good pitch by the lefty Buffoni there. Walking around the infield like he owns it right now. Let's see. Landon Gibson playing center field for the uh, Pirates. Skipped his uh, River Oaks Baptist School Galveston trip today to be in this championship game. And swung at that one for a strike. Got him with the all speed. For the record, that was the correct probably decision. Could be a once in a lifetime event here. And foul back, good hack. Yeah, good cut there by Landon. He's got a lot of speed too, so if he puts the ball, especially over here on the left side of the infield, it's gonna force the defense to make a quick play. And that's grounded right third base go. into the outfield. And he's going to second. Here's the throw, and that's going to be a stand-up double. Man. And the Pirates have a runner in scoring position. Something, some, one of us said something about hitting it down the left side and having some speed. The Pirates can get something going here. One out, Timothy Mock up. Lefty on lefty matchup here. Yeah, this house inside, one and zero. We'll see if they see if they get Nancy on getting landing over here to third. And that pitch is in there for a strike. Counts one and one. As counts one and one. Here's a pitch. And swing and a miss. And that pitch on the outside. Good pitch there. Presented it nice and high. Gave him something to look at. Just swung right through it. Counts one and two. Here's the pitch. And chase it high for a strikeout. And that's two away for the Pirates. Yeah, I think Terry went back to the upstairs on that one just to test that spot again now Bobby Falk here for the uh, the Pirates is their their only home run hitter of the of the season had a big shot kind of middle of the season number 44 here and that's outside goes to the backstop on the wild pitch and Pirates will have their first runner 90 feet away as counts 1-0 Here's the 1 0. And right down the middle for a strike. Here's the 1 1. And swing and a miss. Blew it past him for strike two. Head didn't count. It's Terry's 40th pitch, so he's still got some. Still got some pitches to go if they need him. Here's the payoff. And swing and a miss for strike three. As Ho in the third as the Dodgers still lead it 4 nothing. As we'll head to the top of the fourth here on Pipe Live.
As we're back here on Pipe Live, as Dodgers still lead it 4 0 here in the top of the fourth. Yeah, we got to the Pirates at this fourth inning of work. Yeah, Pirates had a chance there to get on the board with the, with the big hit by Gibson, but Terry Buffoni shut him down there to, to close that one out. As counts 1 0, here's the pitch. And outside 2 0. James Phillips back up to bat. That's left, throws right. Here's a 2 0. And that pitch is at the knees for a strike. 2 1. James has made several defensive plays to kind of get them through this playoff run. So let's get his. And that's low. Hitters count. Having a good at bat here. Here's the 3 1. And swing and a miss. You can run there. As counts. I think full. it was just a second strike, right? Guess he thought that was a strikeout. As counts full at 3 and 2. James got on base in the first inning with a walk. Let's see what he's going to do here. Here's full count, and that's hit hard in the right field. That's going to be a stand-up single, and that's going to go all the way to the wall. There'll be more bases. They may send him. He's going. And they're going to send him home, oh. and he's caught between there. Here's the oh. throw. Goes to the backstop. Now he's going to head home. Oh, boy. And so caught in the pickle slides, and he's going to be safe. I mean... There was a lot of stops and starts there. That looked like uh, traffic on 610 at 5 o'clock. <laughs> Many different sequences there. <laughs> Tell you what, though, great athleticism by him to get by James. He, uh, I would have pulled four hamstrings doing that, but he stopped and started multiple times and got himself back. I think Coach Nicholson's uh, glad he's safe. Whether it was going to be home or third, he's just glad he's safe. No outs. As he gets on with the single, gets the third on the airs and outfield here's a pitch we got Hudson Kirk up he's, he's been catching on here night all night coach Nicholson called him the Johnny bench of the team which is a which is high praise here's the 01 and that's fouled back as he gets ahead in the count on one two If you're the Pirates here, you really got to try and keep this run from scoring 4-0. I know there's only there's no outs, but. Here's the 0-2. And that's low. Patrick gets a hold of it. Yeah, Vincent. great. Sorry, great stop there by Candola. That bounced right around the plate. That saved a run for sure. As counts 1-2. and two. Here's the pitch. And able to chase that one in the center field. That's going to drop. And that's going to be an RBI double as they'll make it 5 nothing Dodgers. You know, they're waiting on the breaking pitch. At least the top of the order is. That, that was, that was Benny's, uh, Benjamin's pitch off speed before was kind of getting them guessing a little bit. But he's really, uh, I, think they've, I think Coach probably coached him up and have him sit on it a little bit more right now. As uh, so they're going to come out to the bound, talk with the pitcher. And his fourth inning of work as still no outs after the RBI double. As Dodgers now lead it 5 0. Looks like a change. Looks like Maggie's going to come in and pitch. And we'll have a new pitcher on the mound for the Pirates as we'll take a small break here on Pipe Live as he'll warm up.
As we're back here on Five Live, Dodgers lead it 5 nothing after the RBI double. Mason Maggi, number six, on the mound now. A little fun fact here, uh, during the regular season, he threw a complete game against the Dodgers for a win. I actually watched that one. It was impressive. And still no outs in the inning. Here's the first pitch. And swing and a miss as he chased that one with an early swing. This is Travis Quatal again here up to bat, number 13. And that pitch is in there for a strike. Actually called the ball, counts one and one. Here's a pitch. And that's grounded hard, third baseman has it. Looks at second, throws the first in time and the runner after all is able to get the third. Really good play by Lux there at third. Hard hit ball, fields it right near the bag. Looks the runner back to second, gets it out at first, and they almost got the throw back, back to third. So, solid defense again by the Pirates. As it's one away for the Dodgers. Yeah, Danny Harvey, number six at bat. He's got speed for days. Here's a pitch, and that's high. As counts 1-0, and oh. here's a pitch, and that's high, 2-0. and oh. Yeah, breaking ball that didn't break there. Danny's a good athlete at Kincaid. I know he's a, also an elite track star there. Plays a lot of baseball as well. Here's a 2-0, -oh. and that's outside, 3-0. And that's low ball four. And runners in the corner, it's just one out. Yeah, we should assume that Harvey's gonna be on second in about 12 seconds here, once the pitch is thrown. As yeah, so bring up the lefty to the plate. Yeah, Luke Dosh here, number 10. Bats left, throws left. Here's the pitch, and that's high. Runner going to second, checks third. Going to be safe at the plate at third. And count be 1-0. Oh. Shows bunt there. Pulled it back. As counts one and one. Dodgers bunted a couple times against us in the semifinals with great success. Allegedly their first bunch of the season, but looks like they're pretty adept at it now. And swing and a miss with the off speed. Counts one and two. We've already seen it tonight, but one thing the Dodgers do is they will hit the ball anywhere on the field. Right field, left field, anywhere, anywhere there's not a body, that's for sure. Here's the payoff and swing and a miss, strike three. And that's two away for the Dodgers. Runners on well, second and third. This would be a big boost for the Pirates. They can get this out here and get out of the inning with just that one run. Keeping it with uh, close reach. Fan favorite Willie Nelson back to the back to the plate. And that's grounded. Shortstop has it, bobbles it, and everybody's gonna be safe. And now make it six nothing Dodgers here in the top of the fourth. Willie Nelson writing a new tune here tonight with a RBI single and advancing the runner to third. Likely about to steal second, although with two outs, they may not here. We'll see. 
Jeb Dilley up to bat. And it'll be runners in the corners on first and third. Here's the pitch. And that's low, 1-0. And, oh. and the runner comes home, and he's going to be safe. And it's 7 nothing. That's Harvey Speed right there. He knew. Uh, Coach Nicholson told him, as soon as the catcher throws the ball back to the pitcher, you take off, and he did. And as he steals home, as the Dodgers extend their lead to 7 nothing over the Pirates. Pirates are checking to see if maybe there was a different angle. Someone saw it differently. It looks like it, that play is going to stand. And runner does advance a second to a two outs in the inning. Expect Jeb to swing free here with this lead. Man on second, two outs. Yeah, and that pitch is high and inside, 1-0. He's, oh. he's going to look to drive one here. Another player that Coach Nicholson said was likely to get a, have a big shot here tonight. Here's 2-0, -oh. and foul back. Here's a 2-1. And that's outside. Here's the count at 3-1. Looking for a big pitch here. Should be. And that's inside. Called a strike. It counts full. Looking for the Pirates to I'll get out of this inning right here just so they can try and regroup and get the bats going. Here's a 3-2 and inside and ball four. And it'll be runners at first and second. Still two outs. Dodgers are at this point with top of the order almost uh, like go through 12 batter than top of the order for the for the uh, Pirates next inning. Dodgers would love to put more runs on, and obviously the Pirates would love to get out of this inning here and get their bats going next inning. Yeah, it looks like we might have another pitching change or meeting on the mound. Yeah, Coach Maggi going out there, I think, to settle the sun down, talk about what they want to do defensively here. Quick meeting on the mound with two outs as Dodgers lead it 7 nothing over the Pirates. Giving this player some words of encouragement. At Elliott Dolly, number zero up to bat. Here's the pitch, and that's low. Runner saw it about going. Catcher stays in front of it. Yeah, another good stop there by Candola. As counts 1-0. and oh. Low once again. As I make it 2-0. And that is high for ball three. As counts three and zero. Oh. Here's the pitch, and that's in there for a strike. Counts three and one. Ball four, and the bases are loaded, still with two outs.
Top of the order up now. Calhoun McNair. Number 11 already off to a, to a good start with a hit earlier in the game. And that's grounded into the outfield. One will score, and I'll make it 8 nothing. as everybody else will hold with the bases loaded as Dodgers extend their lead. Calhoun with his second hit of the day. RBI on that one. He's also scored two runs. Now we got Douglas Nicholson up here. Big spot for him here. Bases loaded. Wind's really blown from like second base to third base. But and bounce fouled away. A little off speed pitch there. A little early on it. Got the outfield playing back for Douglas's power here. Mason's a really good pitcher, 60% strikes, 32 Ks. Been a good pitcher for the team all season, so he can bear down here and get out of the inning. And that's outside, one and one. Here's the 1-1, one, one. and fouled away to the right side, and that's going to be caught. Wow, great play over there. It was that Hogan at first? He was right up against the fence. That's a tough play because that, that part of the field actually slopes down and away from you. As the Dodgers extend their lead to 8 nothing over the Pirates, that's will head to the bottom of fourth here on Vipe Live. Bottom of four, Terry Buffoni still on the mound, doing well, pitching pitching a solid game shutout so far. As the Dodgers lead it, eight nothing over the Pirates. Here's the pitch. And it's in there for a strike on the outside edge. Terry was just a little over 40 pitches, so he's still got some, got some, got some time to go. Brooks Despot on the mound, I mean, I'm sorry, at the plate. And blew a pass him with a fastball. That's count so and two. And that pitch is just outside, one and two. And that's low to the backstop. Even at two and two.
He's ready. Here's the pitch. And that's high and inside. Counts now four, three, and two. Tell you for the Pirates, this is you want to get him on, then top of the order comes up. It's gonna be their shot to do some do some damage to get back in this game. And swing and a miss, strike three, and that's one away. Good cut there by Despot. He was right on it, just a little underneath it. Great pitch by Terry there. That was a tough one. Turn the turn the order over here with Jack Cofer up, number one. He's got good speed, so anything over here to the left side of the infield might be able to beat it out. Here's the pitch. And that's lined right into the center field. And that's a stand-up single. Great Pirates hit there. That's what the Pirates need. This is what they're going to have to get some action going here. Great play there by Willie Nelson. Scoop that up. I've got no country music puns for that, so we'll save that for later. We go Mason Maggi here. See him pick himself up since he's one pitching here. Let's get get a big hit for the Pirates. And that pitch is right down the middle for a strike with the fastball. Yeah, Terry's really zoned in right now on the mound. And foul back, 0-2. Little League doesn't have a pitch count clock, but you think they would the way uh, Terry's grooving. He's get the ball back, gets the ball back, and starts going. Here's the 0-2, and that's low, 1-2. and two. Yeah, he took a little off that one, a little back throw over to first. Kofor got back. Good, good play by Kirk there. And foul tip. And he stays alive at 1-2. and two. Look for some off speed on this pitch, maybe. Oop. Timeout by Maggi. Steps back in. Here's a 1 2. And inside counts even. And that pitch is. Just outside, three and two, a full count. As he rises in big occasions here, let's see what he can do right here. This is a big spot for the Pirates to get in this thing. And that pitch is in there. How's that? Ball four, and it'll be runners in first and second with two outs. Excuse me, one out. Right, Parker had a got a good hit earlier. Let's see if we can get it going right here. And get some momentum back on the pirate side. Here's the pitch. And outside runners advance. And it'll be two runners in scoring position with one out. Well, for a second, I thought Kofor was just going to go all the way home. His front door was wide open there for for a minute. Takes the double play out of play here. And that's hit hard. Second baseman has it. Toss the first is in time for out number two. And the Pirates scored their first run of the game on the RBI ground out as it cuts it to 8-1. to one. Yeah, that's fundamental baseball right there. You got... Would have been a force out. That would have probably been a Taylor made double play, but runners advanced and ended up scoring a run. And they're still alive here in this inning. Now you got Lux at the plate. Big bat. Sixth grader at St. John's. Looks like Coach Nicholson's going to come out and talk to his team for a second. A meeting on the mound.
Coach Dodson was telling me that, uh, that, that Benjamin Lux has really he's had a great season. It really, has been getting the bat going here in the uh, in the playoffs and really carrying him through. One of the key players that's gotten him here to this uh, championship. Terry staying in. So I think it was just a coach coming out, settle down his boys, get him ready for the next pitch, try and get out of the inning. On the flip side, Coach Dodson talking to his guys. Get them to rally here. Here's a pitch. And that's high, 1-0. Oh. And that's a high fly ball nice. in the right center field. And unable to catch it as they'll make it 8-2 to two with two outs. Tough play there by Doe. She ran a long way from right field. It looked like that ball wanted to carry a little, but that wind's blowing in from, from right, kind of knocked it down. Might have might have messed with them trying to catch that one. Yeah, this will be two outs with the runner on first. And that's another fly ball on the right field, that's and that's going to drop. Oh, Runner goes to third, goes behind the outfielder, and he's going to go home, and now make it 8-3. to three. Okay. That's what the Pirates needed. They lead a little momentum. Even every little bit gives you hope here and puts, uh, puts the other guys on their heels a little. So Dodgers are Dodgers are smart ball players, though, and John's going to have them settle down here. He's probably going to come out and talk to them. Yep, he's calling a timeout right now, actually. Looks like Douglas Nicholson's going to come to the mound. Good pitching tonight by Terry Buffoni. As we have a new pitcher for the Dodgers. As we'll take a small break here on Vibe Live as Pirates get the lead down 8 3. As we'll be right back. New pitcher on the mound for the Dodgers as that's a fly ball in the infield as now finally in the inning. Flat out number three as Pirates score three as they cut the lead down to 8-3. As we'll head to the top of the fifth here on Vibe Live.
Back here, top of the fifth, Benjamin. Benjamin, or sorry, not Benjamin. Uh, we got Maggie back on the mound and Nifwa at the plate. Here's the pitch, and that's in there for a strike. 0 and 1. Here's the 0 1, and that's low. And that's fouled back. You know, one of the things uh, Coach Nicholson was telling me about Nifo, which, like I said he, earlier, I, he's, he's coached him for three three different times here at Pole. And as good as a player and athlete he is, he says he's an even better person. So lo you love hearing those kind of stories about players that have great success here. Foul back. As Council two and two. He had a little off speed there, and he uh, people recognized it and waited on it. Just uh, fouled that one off. It was close. Here's a 2-2, two -two. and that's a fly ball in the right field, and it's caught. And one away for the Dodgers. Terry Buffoni up now, number four. And swing and a miss. And foul back. Another off speed pitch. A lot of it's a really good pitching hit tonight. Terry waited on that one, actually got a good cut at it, fouled it straight back. As counts 0 and 2. Here's the pitch. And foul to the right side. Still 0 and 2. Here's the 0-2, and swing and a miss, strike three, and two away for the Dodgers. Well, the, the Miners game ended earlier, and it's turning the Lord of the Flies out here around us. So it might get a little hectic over here if this uh, spills over into our side of the field. All right. As two away for the Dodgers, as the lefty comes to the plate. James Phillips up to bat here. He's had a hit and a walk here today. Scored a run. And foul back. Good cut there. He's right on now and just fouled it straight back just a little underneath it. Good pitch though by Maggie. As counts one and one. The Pirates get out of this inning with the uh, number three, four, five batters. Be impressive. And that's grounded. Second baseman has it. Fires the first in time for up number three. They did it. Great inning. 
And so heads at the bottom of the fifth. Dodgers still lead it, eight to three. Here in the bottom of the fifth as the Pirates lead it, or excuse me, Dodgers lead it eight to three over to, Dodgers lead it eight to three over to Pirates. James Candola up to bat. Seventy nine hitters up, gotta get some, gotta get something going here to get back in this. Looks like the Pirates are also warming up a Another pitcher here right next to us. Yeah, as counts one and zero. Oh. Here's the pitch, and it's in there for a strike. Douglas Nicholson back on the mound. Last inning came in for one pitch for one out, thrown by his jersey number number one. Here's the pitch. And to the backstop as it counts two and one. Candola's a fifth grader at St. Francis. Quite a few fifth graders on this team. And uh, plays a lot in field, but he's catching all night tonight. Been a really good, good, good catcher behind the plate tonight. As counts goes even at two and two. Just inside, three and two. And swing and a miss, strike three, one away. Big cut there, really good pitch though. Just kind of got it got right by him. Candola looked like he had that one eyed up. Great pitch by Douglas. Austin Janelle coming up to plate now, right-handed batter. Fifth grader at River Oaks Baptist School. Yeah, that's outside. One and zero. Oh. Here's the pitch. Ball two. That pitch is at the knees for a strike. Make it two and one. Yeah, Dodgers need strikes here. Let's see, Douglas, Douglas is the man to do it. We'll see what happens. And swing and a miss for strike two. The Pirates need hits, so. This is a big inning. Get a few Pirates on and set something up for this inning and even the next one. 
Here's the 2-2. And that pitch is called a strike at the knees, and it'll be two away for the Pirates. Yeah, Douglas battled back on that one, a little behind in the count early, and came back with some, picked a few corners on that plate, got him. Landon Gibson had a big hit, big double earlier, right down the uh, third base line. Let's see if the Dodgers shift to try and. And that pitch is in there for a strike, counts on one. And swinging a miss, chase that one high. Yeah, it looks like Nicholson's finding his groove here on the mound. He's getting the ball back and throwing quickly. Here's the 0 2. And that's popped in the air and out of play. Oh. Another championship game souvenir for the fans over there. Back in my day, you turned that in for a snow cone for 25 cents. Now these baseballs are worth like $8 each. Oh, man. <laughs> As counts 0 and 2. And swing and a miss. Strike three. Thank and now you. in the inning. As we head to the top of the six, Dodgers still lead it, eight to three over the Pirates. Here at the Post Oak Little League Championships here on Five Live. Right, top of the sixth championship game here. Looks like Maggie's still on the mound. We got Kirk at bat. And fouls out on the way as it's 0 1. Here's the 01. And that's grounded. And throw the first great, in time. Great play there by Maggi. Really just released his pitch. Hard hit ball right back to the side of the mound. Was able to get off the mound. Very athletic move there. Get it get it right to first. That's what they need. They need a three up, three down inning here and then go to work here in the bottom of the sixth. One away here for the Dodgers. Travis Quatal in number 13 digging in. Here's a pitch. And foul back on one. Good cut there by Travis. Here's the old one. And that is just high, one and one. The little breaking ball there just didn't uh, didn't fall off the table as much as he wanted it to there. 
Here's the 1-1. And that's a soft liner, going to drop to second base, bobbles it, and he is going to be safe for an infield single. So those are always tough. Like that off the end of the bat, it's got a lot of spin on it. It hits the dirt, and the fielder thinks it's going to come right to him, and it hits that dirt, and it spins away. It's always a tough play. So that's... As Dodgers will have a runner on with two outs. Now you got Danny Harvey at the plate. Really good player here. Lot, like I said earlier, a lot of speed. So let's see what we can do here. Here's a pitch. And foul back 0 on 1. Here's the 0 1. Outside, two and one. And actually just one out in the inning. Yeah, I think it was one and one. The, the, I think the score back there behind the plate <laughs> calling the pitches while they're in the air. And swinging a miss for strike two. Well, a big cut there by Harvey. He was, he was trying to hit that one to I-10. Two highway references by me tonight. Whoever wins that bingo prize. Here's one and two, and breaking ball, just high, counts even at two and two. Here's the pitch, and that's low, full count. This is where the Pirates need a double play right here. They can hit one right here to... Dodson, even 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 Lux at third, they might be able to turn one. Although Speedy Harvey at first can be tough to turn two on. Here's the full count and breaking ball, ball four. No, I no, think he calls three. Right. Yeah. You know, typically if you step out or or, or duck when the pitch is coming, if it's anywhere close, sometimes it'll get called on that one. Yeah, that's to be two away now for the Dodgers. That's what the Pirates. That's what the Pirates needed right there. One more, first or second, they get out of this inning. And that's going to go to the backstop. Pass runner will advance a second, and stops there. Got Luke Doach at the at the plate. As counts one and zero. Here's the pitch, and swing and a miss for a strike. Yeah, it's a good pitch. Swung right through that one. That was a good spot. Looked like it was a little high and outside, just enough to look like a really good pitch, but hard to hit. Here's the 1-1, one, one. and swing and a miss for strike two. He went right back to the same spot. Tall on second, looking to get knocked in here. He'll be running on contact. If Here's a one-two and swing and a miss for strike three, and I'll end the top of the six. Final chance for the Pirates coming up here in the Majors Division in the Post League Oak Little League Championship here on Five Live as Dodgers still lead eight to three.
All right, here we go. Championship on the line. Violin six. Timothy Mock up to the plate. Eight to three. It's been four months in the making right here. And swing and a miss with a big fastball for strike one. Well, sometimes that four months feels like six. Here's CO one and foul back for strike two. Douglas is coming out throwing fireballs here. I think there's just one pitch he's going to be throwing at these guys. Pirates need to get some base runners any way they can. And that's low, one and two. Just got to get a couple guys, you know, even though you got a five run lead, you get it one or two guys on base, puts a little pressure on the defense. Put some doubt. Trust me, player and a coach, <laughs> it happens. And foul back stays alive. Still one and two. Say third base, right field, need to be ready. If he makes contact, he's been hitting it over this way each time he's fouled it off. We should be ready for that matter, too. Here's a one, two, and that's high. Counts even. Box battling here at the plate. It's the hard throw in Nicholson. And foul back, stays alive. Good half. Wow. Almost took out one of his coaches in the dugout. Oh, man. And swing and a miss, strike three. Dodgers pitcher wins the battle for out number one. Yeah, Nicholson took something off that one. He didn't go high. He didn't go all heat, but that was a fastball. Just threw it 70, 75 percent. That threw the batter off. He was expecting something closer to 65, 70 miles an hour. Smart pitch. Bobby Falk. This is the uh, Pirates' home run hitter. Lone home run hitter of the season. So, yeah, that was a swing and a miss for strike one. And that is in there for strike two as he goes ahead in the count. And that pitch is in there for strike three, oh. and the Pirates are down to their final out. Two outs. You know, I mentioned earlier on the Dodgers, Coach Nicholson's dad being the coach in 19, 1990 for the championship with the Dodgers. Now, who's on the mound right now to try and close it out? Douglas Nicholson. Here's the pitch. And that pitch is in there for strike one. He... And that's at the knees for strike two. He's rocking and firing right here. You can't blink. The next pitch is coming. Fired sound to their final strike. Here's a pitch. Oh, and there swing There we go. Strike three. And the Dodgers win the Majors Division here at the Post Oak Little League Championships. And here comes the field storm. The curse has been broken. A number one seed. Post Oak Little League. I don't know how many years it's been, but as many years as my kids have been here, I haven't, we haven't seen it happen. So... Congratulations to John Nicholson, the full team, the Dodgers, the families, and you know what? And also congratulations to Dodson and, and the Pirates. Really, really a great season. Two of the two of the best teams definitely made it here in the finals. Great season by all. Really, really good one. As how do it here at the Post Oak Little League Championship as the Dodgers win the Majors Division with a score eight to three over the Pirates. As the kids storm the field, as they'll do it tonight. Have a great night, everybody.